pardon the huge giant mess we have going on here, but welcome to Lori Farm. As we're figuring out, the planter box garden is way easier to garden in versus the other areas we have going. As you can tell, it's a lot less work. Our potatoes are doing amazing. They're already flowering and I've been hilling them regularly. So pretty soon we're gonna be eating some taters. And if you wanna follow me over here, we have our green beans going and they're sprouting up nicely. And the thing I like about uh, the raised beds and the planter box garden is so much less maintenance. We don't have to weed as much. And that's why we've decided to add so many different planter boxes this year. So our new planter boxes up front in front of the new greenhouse are finally starting to sprout. They're coming up nicely. Um, we have had to water them a lot because we haven't had any rain. So I'm hoping we get some rain here soon. But as you can tell, the maintenance on these is pretty much nothing minor weeding and these are nice because they're hip height so I don't have to bend over when I am weeding so it's just real quick which I love. This is inside the, the new greenhouse and we have our peppers growing in here which are coming along awesome. They are sprouting and growing so many peppers each plant already has two or three on them. I love this because again weeding's hip height and it's minimal it's hardly any work. We have added some more um, planter boxes in here. We planted some strawberries up top here, which I'm really excited about. And the only thing we've come into with these is the watering situation. Because right now I'm having to use a ladder to water it, but I'm thinking maybe we'll have to get like a step stool or something that I can leave in here instead of have to run back and forth. But other than that, that's really the only problem we've run into with the planter boxes. We are continually adding more and more. As soon as I'm like, oh, we got it all set up, then Shane comes up with another fantastic idea, which of course I jump on board because any more space I can plant stuff is awesome. So on this side, we have more peppers, which again are coming along fabulously. And this week we added another strawberry um, planter box up there. And we also have cucumbers going up in here, which are sprouting and taking off very nicely. I'm very happy with the way those are coming along. And that is easy watering and easy weeding at that level for us. And then we also had this giant tub that we kind of just um, had sitting in our yard and never utilized for some reason, which I still don't know why we never used it years before. So anyways, Shane brought it in here and I was able to plant some blueberry bushes which I'm really excited about. Anything that I can only have to plant once and come back yearly is a huge win for us. So I'm very excited about this addition and to see how these blueberries do. These are local blueberry bushes. So they were grown and made for the soil that we have here, which is even more fabulous. So I'm very excited to see how these come along. They're actually already getting some blueberries, which is very promising. So and as we were designing the greenhouse, we had originally planned on just kind of using this as a shelf space so we could do our starter plants and get things ready for when the season starts or when the season's ending and just kind of get our starter plants going for fall, spring and summer. But as usual, we started um, working on something and kind of revised it and came up with some better ideas. So what we're going to do back here is we're going to add just another really long planter box and then on part of it, we're going to have a, like a flip shelf so we can still do our um, po uh, potted plants, but we're just going to have that much more space to plant more things. So I'm really excited and kind of pondering what I want to plant in them, but it's going to open up a whole lot of space. I'm thinking we'll probably do more fruit bushes, maybe blackberries, raspberries, more blueberries. I don't know, but it is going to open up a lot more space. So I'm really excited to see how this comes along and um, how much more plants we can fit in here. We're on the outside of the greenhouse where we have a few more planter boxes on the sides. On this side we did rhubarb which I'm really excited about because again it's one of those things you just plant and it comes back year after year after year. 
So we did go, I did just buy these. I bought two new ones and then we had one up front that Shane wasn't aware of and he accidentally mowed over it, which kind of came up with the idea of where we should move it to so it doesn't get mowed over. And I'm really glad that we had this built because it's gonna be a perfect spot for them and it still gives them plenty of space to spread. And the weeding on this is minimal to nothing, which I love. And it's also surrounded by all of our wild raspberry bushes that we didn't know about when we moved in. But as you can see, they're just growing all under the base of our windmill, which is actually really, really pretty and useful. And then on the backside of the greenhouse, we have thousands of them. They're just everywhere and they fruit really well. So the kids just come out and kind of pick the berries and eat them as they fruit. But we literally just have thousands of wild raspberries back there. And one thing I forgot to mention when we were inside, as silly as it sounds, it is a beautiful view when you look through the back, just to see all the wild raspberries and all the pollinators it attracts. We get huge bumblebees. We also have a ton of hummingbirds, which is really pretty when you're inside doing your weeding or watering or whatever, just to kind of look out through that back window and just see all the beautiful wildlife. This is the other side um, planter box that we added. And this one is going to be asparagus, which I absolutely love to eat. So I'm very excited that we're gonna be growing it. And it's one of those things you plant once and then it just continues to grow year after year and gets better and better. It does take a couple of years, so it is an investment in time, but well worth it since I don't plan on moving anytime soon and it's an easy to grow thing. So as you can see, the planter boxes are working really, really well. And I love them. It's the best and easiest gardening idea you can come up with. I wish we would have started with this years ago, but I'm excited for you to see all the new ones we're gonna add in the next few weeks and months. And we have plans to just add them more in there and even on the outside of the barn eventually. I'm just really excited for it because it's so much easier. You don't get a sore back. The weeds basically are nil and everything grows just beautifully in them. It's a very, very easy gardening idea. Thanks for watching today. And we know from the YouTube analytics that most people that watch this channel are not subscribed. So if you'd like to keep up with our gardening this summer, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks and have a wonderful day. We got it all set up. Then Shane comes up with another fantastic and idea. Shane comes up with another fantastic idea. So for right now, because his feet are fucking melting off, which is why he's moving around so much. I kind of figured that. Did you want to go stand out there for a second? huge bumblebees. We've even had um, a ton of, oh my God, I blinked, I don't know what the name is. Hummingbirds. Okay, and we also have a ton of hummingbirds, which is really